30 Days of Night, Dark Days. Now this one takes place shortly after the first one, which of course was you know, a, a very uniquely styled zombie, uh, not zombie, sorry, a vampire attack movie in Alaska. So all of a sudden, you know, they're, they're stuck, there's no rest because there's no sunlight for a long period of time. You know, and the, the vampires they do, of course, it's not just two teeth, they don't twinkle. It's a big mouth of sharp, jagged teeth. So in this one, the, the survivor is discussing about what happened in auditorium, and it kind of goes, well, vampires exist. To prove a point, she then uses ultraviolet lights to kill vampires in the area, in the room. The FBI is like, yeah, it was a stunt, you know. So the FBI is kind of working with vampires. She then finds a group of other survivors who banded together to try to kill vampires. Okay, that, that's pretty decent. You know, you got a bunch of survivors, some of them go into their own little background stories. So you can kind of tell that this isn't like an isolated incident, it's happened in other places. That's good to add a nice, nice depth to it, which, you know, this sort of movie would kind of need. But at the same time, they're hunting centuries-old vampires, and in some cases, they're not really good at it. And then eventually, the survivors of the survivors find their way onto a cargo ship heading towards Alaska, which therefore, of course, leads to the survivors taking on the this group's vampire queen, Lilith, you know, try to see who can survive and who can stop these vampires. And then it actually ends kind of closer to full circle. You know, it was actually a really solid movie. I do like the fact that <clears throat> you went from the way the, the first one ended, and it ended with that feeling that if you could do a sequel, I think you do a sequel that helps tighten up some loose ends, but then still kind of leaves it open for an additional sequel if they want to go that route. All in all, not bad. Yeah, I really do like the the 30 Days of Night style of vampire. You know, there's there's less of that uh, like Euro, I'll say Euro trash, less, less of the Euro trash feel, less of that, you know, regal nobility, and more of just, you know what, we feast on the blood of humans. So there's a lot less of the, of the seductive side of it. It's a lot more of just kind of the, the vicious animal side of it.